Its name is the divorced women's market. More Italian women. When they get divorced, they become more desirable. That sounds like bullshit. You can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> well, check this out. This is called the train of life. Mauritania is an Arab country in Northwest Africa. Its capital is Nouakchott, and its most important port is the port of Nouadhibou. Port of Nouadhibou. Let's go. That, that's that's a lot of boats. Damn, man. How, how, how do you make sure that it's your boat? How, how could you different? Would you, you just take any boat? That's too many boats. I gotta say, that's way too many boats. Its population is 4.5 million. It gained independence from France in 1960. Its area is 1 million square kilometers, and 90% of it is desert, which is part of the Sahara Desert, the largest desert in the world. Its coastline extends 750 kilometers on the Atlantic Ocean. This is what they have on their currency. A camel, a ship, Quran, and a train. We are in Mauritania, guys. Welcome. This is called Terra, the national dress. You should. These younger countries are kind of wild. Many of them have like a guns on them. <laughs> on their currency. Roll up your sleeve, like this, like this, and you walk like this. Uh, you do? It's a modern city. Watch out. Let's get to know the people of Mauritania. This Arab country is in the far west of Africa, where the desert meets the ocean. This doesn't happen only in Namibia, but also in Mauritania. This mosque is the oldest in the city because this city is modern, not very old. Watchout has no ancient history. Hello. Welcome, hello. Welcome, welcome. Mauritania. Let's go pray, guys. This Saudi mosque in the capital Mauritania. was gifted to Mauritania from Saudi Arabia during the reign of late King Faisal in the 70s. It's the largest mosque in Islamic landmark in Wakshot. Wakshot? Yes. Mauritania. Mauritania. From north to south, there's the Sahara. This is Mauritania, master of the sand. My outfit is spot on. I'm from Kingetti. You look like a groom. Elegant like a groom. Uh, Consumed daily. Mauritania's national drink is a tai, which means tea. This is the local market in Mauritania. Two to three times a day. Yes. It's, it's stronger tea. than espresso, right? Yes. What a welcome. But they make it in a special way. Notice the foam they make in the cup before they pour the tea into it. These are Mauritanian traditions. This foam is done on purpose. They make the foam in the cup before they pour the tea into it. I thought it was sugar at first. Now the Mauritanian tea is ready. In the name of God. It's like a stimulant. Its effect is stronger than Italian espresso. They drink this every day in every in cities and in the desert from north to south, right? Yes. This is the traditional drink. Yes. Welcome to Mauritania. This is the authentic Mauritanian drink. The authentic drink. Good evening. Everything here is traditional. The tent, the dara, the traditional Mauritanian food, and the tea. And Mauritanian tea. Is this couscous? Yes. You feel as if Algeria, Morocco, and Mauritania are almost one country because of their great similarity here in the Sahara Desert. Most Mauritanians went to traditional schools. They studied poetry and prose and learned to read. And thus, Mauritanians began to speak classical Arabic. That's why they call it the country of a million poets. There's a Kuwait. It's interesting how much this country have a, a boner for tradition. I mean, in the best. Tradition is basically just something to smash at this point. Kuwait newspaper that uh, did. I would say I partly agree with it. But, I mean, good ideas are not really. Uh, Debated based on where they appear before, so they really exist separately. Just because something is old doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Uh, did a piece on Mauritania in uh, the 60s, I think, and uh, they found that people write poetry everywhere here. So they called Mauritania the country of a million poets. We are here hosted by the great poet. What's your name? Ahmed Yusuf. God bless you. It's a country that's been okay. neglected for a long time due to lack of resources and poor management. It's a country of deserts, poets, and culture, where they study Islam and the Quran, and all its inhabitants are Muslims. It has the longest trans Saharan train in the world. It is a country of gold, iron, copper, and fishing. Come have a look. Imagine the sunset view here every day. Why don't people know much about Mauritania? <laughs> Let's be honest. Did you even know that this country existed before you clicked? Hey, I'm one of them uh, African countries. I, I know I know about them. By the way, Africa is huge. Well, know that you know or know this. But just the entire thing is desert. I don't know. So Somehow we would need to utilize that. Not, not just uh, go to uh, poor countries and rob them of their resources, but s something. Something. You know? If it could make it happen, that would be awesome. And natural gas was discovered here only four years ago. Next year, they will start exporting. And Mauritania, God willing, will flourish this Arab country. This market in Mauritania is called... Does Mauritania own their gas or it's being exploited? Called the divorced women's market. What Italian women? This is the divorced women's market. We are here in the divorced women's market. The percentage of divorced divorced women's market. Okay. Women in Mauritania is very high, but divorce in Mauritania is celebrated. The situation for Mauritanian women it is. is different from anywhere else. They will steal your camera. They will steal it. They will steal it. Why would they steal? The. They might steal it. No, no. We're in a safe and secure country. God willing. God willing. God willing. There are men more willing to marry divorced women than single women. Divorced women in Mauritania have a higher chance of marriage than others. But why? I will tell you the story. That is a good question. 
This entire market is theirs. Every Mauritanian woman who gets divorced comes here and sell all the furniture in her house. Some women became traders here. An important note. Mauritanian women. That doesn't sound good. Become more desirable after they get divorced. You sell all the furniture here, like a. This entire furniture and. and the yeah, bags. divorce is a sad occasion for you, but a happy occasion for us. Divorce? Yeah. What? Well. Oh, look at that. That's that's my mom there. It's a little sad for me, but I mean, she's selling my furniture, so what can you do? This is a happy, 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 happy time. When a woman is divorced here, a celebration is held for her. A celebration for divorced women? By who? Are there divorced women? She and I are divorced, and there are many divorced women. Divorce for us as Muslims is normal. Divorce is a livelihood. Is it? Muslims is normal. Is, is that true? Muslims? Is that true? Just big, big time into divorce? <clears throat> divorce is a livelihood for us. And it, it is? Marriage is also a livelihood. Ah, uh, so you don't feel sad when you divorce? We don't feel sad. It's just a livelihood that reached an end. This is the way we view it. If a woman... I, I, don't, I don't think a guy would like this uh, philosophy. Like, I, I get married for the money and also divorce for the money. Mm. Woman gets divorced, she starts trading, buying and selling, and improves her situation. Divorce is not a problem so for her. not embarrassed by it? Not at all. It's just a livelihood that reached an end. There is nothing wrong with divorce. It's not a problem for us. These are your customs and traditions? Yes, it's normal for us. Here we call it livelihood. Do you know what livelihood means? Livelihood? It's just a relationship. No, 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 I don't know anything about it. That's that. over. Then someone else comes, and the woman marries again. When a woman gets divorced, she receives many marriage offers, and then she marries someone. You may spend a long time, or you can leave in a short time. This is the Mauritanian woman, because when a woman gets divorced, she becomes more desirable. What's the reason? Oh, yeah, that, that's a good question. The reason is because she gets more beautiful. What? Desirable. What's the reason? The reason is... Yeah. Come on. You got this. Because she gets more beautiful. And... Does she? I, I think. I, I think I figured it out. So, I mean, you... You take a recently divorced woman, you marry her, and you divorce her in the old way, and they're like, okay, well, I just been hurt. Well, I just have your stuff. I'm, who knows? Who knows? Then, then you marry another woman. Then you again divorce her. And that, that's it. And more experienced. When someone leaves her, someone else. More experienced. Comes and appreciates her more than her ex-husband. Her new husband takes care of her more than her ex-husband. That sounds like total bullshit. <laughs> Are they just trolling the, the, the reporter or something? But uh, doesn't this encourage divorce? Yeah, right, it encourages divorce. The new husband takes on my responsibility and the responsibility of my children. What Italian women are strong, aren't they? What the fuck? And the responsibility of my children. What Italian women are strong, aren't they? Very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Mauritanian women are very strong. They say this is because women have more experience in running the household. We don't have a deferred dower. No deferred dower? No. They don't have deferred dower here, so the woman owns everything in the house. What the fuck? I already kind of suspected that, that was the case. So you marry a woman, and she owes everything, and she's highly incentivized to divorce you, and like, she's selling your furniture right there, uh, while looking for a new suitor, while telling everyone that this this whole thing is just awesome. Uh, and although, while, while entirely admitting that it's, uh, it's an unhappy day for the guy, but apparently other guys are lining up. I mean, I, I would be suspecting it only because that because of the religion i mean you would need to be married to 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 the deed or right something like that so so desperate guy just like oh yeah man i got like a, a wooden shack and like one mattress let's go uh let, let's do the deed before we get divorced is this all the furniture of the house yes you took all the stuff from your husband and uh i took all the furniture from my house and my husband we buy and sell furniture here Mauritanian women. You know, you know what could be the the ultimate combination? Some kind of some guy who's living in a rented place with no furniture, right? Checkmate. <laughs> women have a large and prominent role in Mauritanian society. They are literally the mistress of the house. It is even strongly evident within decision-making centers, in the parliament and the ministries. Regarding the issue of human respect, follow the son of the Prophet Muhammad and look at the way he treated his wives. Follow that approach. It, I don't know. Is this how it goes? Is, is this how he treated his wives? Human respect, follow the son of the Prophet Muhammad and look at the way he treated his wives. Follow that approach. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this is probably totally not bullshit. So, I mean, everyone is super happy with this, no doubt. All right. Uh, good boys, though.